Here we're looking at my personal airbrush, a Badger 155 Anthem. It's a dual action siphon fed airbrush. The term dual action um, may be confusing for some folks. Uh, what that basically means is that the airbrush performs two functions. Um, the first being pressing in on the trigger here to release air. That comes through the air hose which is attached to the bottom. Um, so the first action, pressing in, releases the air. The second would be to pull back on the trigger. That releases paint from this, this attachment here where the um, paint cup or paint jar is attached. So that dual action, down for paint and back for, I'm sorry, down for air, back for paint, uh, really becomes one motion and the further forward the trigger is the lighter the mist of paint the further back the heavier the spray of paint um, that, that's very similar to a single action airbrush the only difference is that on a single action airbrush both of those functions are, are done simultaneously so a single action airbrush would just have the press in of the trigger and that would that would mix the air and the paint simultaneously um, the dual action airbrush, um, like the or double action airbrush, like the single action, uh, really has just some uh, very basic parts, um, and both types of airbrushes have the basic parts. I've already mentioned the airflow hose, which is connected to a compressor. There's also the paint feed. This is this connection here, where you can um, attach a paint cup or, or paint jar um, at the top of it or the front of the airbrush, there's a nozzle. Uh, the nozzle has a small hole in it and it has a needle that runs through the body of the airbrush and out the back here. The needle is actually the piece with the ball on the end on this particular airbrush. And actually this, uh, this item right here is the set screw that adjusts just how far back that needle uh, sits from this hole. Um, as you pull back on the trigger you can see that the needle is actually moving with the trigger and what that's doing is basically opening up the nozzle the further back I pull the needles further from the hole and so there's more space for that paint to come out um, as you move the needle forward that hole gets blocked up and so the amount of paint coming out of the airbrush decreases That's about it for airbrushes. Um, just wanted to give a simple overview um, for those of you who haven't really had a hands-on experience with an airbrush. Uh, they're really a, a, a pretty easy tool to use once you uh, understand the basics and have had some practice with them. So don't be intimidated by them if you have not already. Um, be sure to read the article that accompanies this video on nscalelimited.com.